I'm Carla Downing. This is my husband, Monty. Mm -hmm. And I normally make you videos on difficult relationships, but today I thought that we would share with you one of our very favorite appetizers that we use for parties. It's called the No Bake Pineapple Appetizer. And wasn't it you that taught me how to do this when yeah, we were was, first married? When we first married, I think I cooked dinner for Carla, and this was part of the the big show. <laughs> she, <laughs> and it was she was impressed. And it was something that uh, his a neighbor of his that was really important in his life uh, taught him. So it's kind of got a good memory attached to it, Maureen. Yeah. And uh, we're going to show you how to make it. Go ahead. Anyway, you need to pick out a ripe pineapple with the stem leaves that pop out easily out of the top. You, if they pop out easily, you know that it's ripe. If it's soft, that also helps. You take the pineapple and basically cut it in half and make sure that the stem is also severed separately so that you have two halves equal. The stem is kind of for looks, but it, it looks nice if it's still attached. Uh, you'll need two types of knives, one a long knife to cut it in half. You'll also need a hook knife to cut the inside of the pineapple out without cutting through the rind portion. And basically that's just a cheap steak knife that I bend to accommodate my left hand. If you're right-handed, you would bend the knife this way and simply take a cheap steak knife and carefully push down on a cutting board until you can uh, get the shape you want and it and it kind of stays at that angle, just Didn't, like we have here. Can't you use a grapefruit knife also? You can. I used to use a grapefruit knife, but they are so flimsy that they don't cut well. You need something that is like a cheap steak knife that is fairly stiff and can mm -hmm. you can guide it. The, the grapefruit knife is kind of bounces around in there and doesn't cut as much out as you would like. Basically, take your knife, insert it into the pineapple, and just follow the perimeter without getting out of the yellow into the rind very quickly. Because if you do that, you lose juice, which doesn't ruin it. You could just put it on a plate and let it catch the juice, but you yeah. want to try to keep as much juice as possible. So picture this opposite. I'm left-handed, but I went around the, the center of the pineapple, and then I just reach under a little bit and cut the cut the middle out. Mm -hmm. Ta da! And if you leave a little inside, so what? Um, then take your longer knife, cut that piece in half, turn it sideways, and make half inch perpendicular cuts. Just that quick. They don't have to be exact, but basically what you have is. These little sections, you can see how they come out, mm -hmm. and they go back in. And now the two ingredients you need to have: brown sugar. Brown sugar. You can put it on the surface of the pineapple as as liberal as you like. More the better. It all drains out anyway. Put a, a good a good amount of brown sugar on the surface. Sprinkle the whole surface with an amazing amount of cinnamon and put it in your plate and let it sit. It needs to sit for a while because the juice of the pineapple will, will uh, mix with the brown sugar and the cinnamon and kind of make the, the pineapple come, come to life. When so you, this has been about 45 minutes to an hour, and now you can see the little slices of the pineapple, which is what it's going to look like when you serve it, and we can put the toothpicks in. doesn't have to be that long. Just so you can, you can see the difference between the two, this one is obviously brand new, and you can't see where the slices are. Just give it a few minutes, the slices, the slices will show themselves, and you take uh, toothpicks, and poke them in kind of at a slight angle to each one of the pieces. I like colored toothpicks because they look nicer, but it's not critical, tastes the same. And put your toothpicks in each piece, kind of at an angle so you can grab them.
kind of make them all the same angle kind of looks nicer. Okay, so what you have is each toothpick is a bite-sized piece of delicious pineapple that's super sweet with cinnamon. And I guarantee you, if you do this, it'll be cleaned out and before anything else gets eaten. It's yeah. really nice. So it took us five minutes to make an hors d'oeuvre. I guarantee you, everybody will want to know how you did it. Yep, yeah, we've served it with um, all kinds of things. So yeah, barbecue, uh, luau's we've had, uh, birthday parties, mm -hmm. everything. Works great. Yeah. Christmas, yeah. anything. Pineapple is a universal fruit. It goes with everything. Okay. And there right. you go. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and now I'll get back to doing my videos on difficult relationships. Go ahead and let us know if you tried this and you liked it. So, okay. Bye. Thanks.